We've all seen the extreme cases, the man cave that feels like an actual cavern, the kitchen island as big as an actual island, and all of it with a price tag to match. This week's Angie's List Report shares how to make the right size of upgrades for your CI home. When beginning a home remodel, you want to be sure the updates are right for you and your household, all while getting the most for your money. The term right sizing is coming into play more and more as homeowners make upgrades that aren't necessarily the biggest and grandest. Instead, their changes are sized just right for their needs. Doing that correctly begins with a lot of planning. It's important to talk to an architect or builder who understands your household needs when you're thinking about remodeling. Wendy Langston, the owner of Everything Home Design, knows the value of right sizing for her clients and starts by asking questions. When planning a new home or remodel, there's some critical things to consider uh, to ensure that we right size the home and don't build a home or design a home that's too large. Specifically, we want to understand your lifestyle, the function of the space, and projections on how the home might suit you moving forward in time. An architect or designer can suggest ideas that fit into your lifestyle as well as your space. But first, they need to know exactly what your lifestyle entails. Wendy uses a detailed questionnaire. It allows us to look at everything from the demographic of the folks who might be using the home to their lifestyle, how their hobbies are, how they like to entertain, what kind of um, clutter tolerance they might have, um, concerns or opportunities for using low maintenance products if they have dogs or small children, grandchildren. So through this lifestyle questionnaire, we're really able to get a lot of answers that then help us guide our planning for the home design. With that detailed knowledge of your household and your needs, your designer is now ready to help you make the most of your upgrade. A well thought out remodel can expand your space in your home thoughtfully to make it more livable for you and can also increase your house's resale value. Mark Einselin, the residential designer at Old Town Design Group, suggests willingness to make adjustments to your vision to really get the best use of your space. A lot of times it's people want like a really big grand first impression in the foyer, but that space may not be used that frequently. And so you can cut out unused space and reappropriate that space in your living space. So your foyer might be a little bit smaller, but then your living area is larger. And that's the space you're actually going to use. And when you're thinking about upgrading those less glamorous spaces in your home, like utility closets and pantries, our experts agree that it's good to go big. When designing a home, um, clients sometimes are afraid to go big in areas like uh, closet space. And it might not be so much afraid as it is they haven't considered the needs for storage. An area that you shouldn't be afraid to go big in is, I think, uh, maybe your mechanical utility storage space. So uh, you might not want the biggest laundry room, but it's a space you're going to use every, maybe not every day, but every week. And you can use it for different projects too. So um, no one really regrets having that extra space there. Through thoughtful planning and design, you can get an upgraded living space that comfortably fits your household, your lifestyle, and your budget. I need that boy to teach my kids how to fold clothes. Coming up, if you need more information, head to stayaliving.tv. We'll connect you with Angie's List. Time for today's CI Giving.